Hi guys, I'm Angela Martinez, content marketing specialist for Alpaca. For those of you who are new to the channel, Alpaca is a developer first startup focused on stock and crypto trading, investing, and embedding. The focus of these videos will be to show you how to best get started using our APIs. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to trade either stocks or crypto via Google Collab using our API. For that, there's only two things that you need, and that's an Alpaca account and a Google account. The nice thing about using Google Colab is that you don't need to set your computer for any coding environment. That's the difference between using Google Colab and Google Spreadsheets. Google Colab uses Python Jupyter Notebook in the cloud, so it still works even if you're online. So this is the article that we're gonna be using. So let's get started. So you're gonna open Google Colab and we want a new notebook. Okay, so now that we have our notebook, we're going to go to the article and we're going to follow the instructions. It, it's very straightforward. Okay, so first we want to install Paca Trade API and we can just go here and copy it. And you paste it and you click play. Okay, so now that we're here, we're going to create another block of code. We're going to type in our, our API keys. And for that, I'm going to show you how to get them. So we're going to paste this, so we're importing it as alpaca and we're gonna call it API, okay? So we're gonna go to alpaca and I wanna log in. And for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna do paper trading. You're gonna go to API keys and here you can see the endpoint paper-api and the API key. If you don't have your secret key, you can regenerate a new key and you'll be good. So if you see here, that's the paper dash API and we have the API key and my secret key. Perfect, okay. So we're gonna create another code of block and we're gonna get our account information. Let's copy that and then I'm gonna paste it. And let's run it. Perfect. Okay, so here it shows all the info, like my account number, what my buying power is, how much cash I have, uh, currency, day trading, buying power, except like it just goes over everything. And we're going to go to another code, uh, code block, and we're going to submit an order. Okay, so... Let me change this a little bit. So we're going to do symbol and we're going to do Apple and we want to buy this. We want to buy quantity. Sign for is good till cancel. Perfect. So, okay, this is, I did one stock. Let's go to crypto. Okay. Let's do another one. Um, oh, okay. Let's do Bitcoin just for the sake of for doing this. Okay. And I want symbol. It's BTC USD. So I buy quantity. Okay, I'm gonna do notional because I don't want to buy enough Bitcoin. So I'm gonna do 0 0.01. Okay, so I have Bitcoin buy. I want to buy 0.01. Market time in force. And let's run it. We can confirm it. We're gonna go over the um, list positions, but we can confirm it here. If we do, let's do this. You see, I literally just bought it for 479. Okay, let's do another Bitcoin, but let's do notional. So we want, we want $100, let's see. Perfect. And there we go, 0 0.002. Okay, we can check actually your positions. List positions and there we go. You can literally see, okay, like US equity, average entry price, et cetera, position. This is crypto, um, Bitcoin, how much we have basically. So I actually only have to check here. I have Apple and Bitcoin. That's what I use for my videos. I do paper training. So if you see here, I have. Crypto, Bitcoin, US equity, Apple, that's it. Quantity, how much I have, quantity, zero, 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 okay. We can see the orders that we've placed as in list orders. So let's go 
go over that. Another block. And then I'm going to see your orders. If I run my API list orders, it won't show anything up because I don't have any outstanding orders. So let's create out an outstanding order. So Bitcoin, I love, okay, buy. We want quantity. Let's buy like 0.001. Okay, type limit. And then timing forward script will cancel. And I want um, my limit to be 0.035 because I don't want to buy it. One, two, three. There we go. Okay. There we go. So now if we go to code block and then we go to list orders. There we go. Crypto. Bitcoin 2001 is the one that I literally just created. You can see the time. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Now the good part. Okay. So this is everything that you can do. You can buy a thousand coins. The coins that we have, I'm actually going to show them to you in a little bit. But for now, we want to do the candlestick chart. We want to see the info. If you see here, this is basically what we can get. So let's do that. Okay. But let's do for Bitcoin. Okay, you see USD time frame. One day limit 10. If you had, and actually get bars is for stocks but we have to do crypto not crypto crypto bars so actually if we don't mention exactly which exchange we want we'll just bring everything everything out okay so if you see here i put limit 10 but i put one day so it's just bringing three so what we can do we can go to market data which is where we have and we go to crypto we go to bar if you see here, we have the time frame that we have. If you see here, this time frame one day. But you can do one minute, 15 minutes, one hour, one day. Okay, so let's do crypto, but let's put a start time of. Okay. So if you see here in, in, in historical data, we need this format. Let's do 2021. And it needs to be zero seconds. So if you see here, fractions of a second are not accepted. So just make sure that, that you enter everything correctly. And well, as you can see, we said limit of 10. So we have this and it's one per day. We said one day, you know, this is not like a pretty way to look at it. So what we want to do is we're going to visualize it and we're going to use a library called Plotty. Okay, so we're gonna create another block. We can just copy and paste the code. Let's do, we're, we're using Bitcoin for the video, the purpose of the video. And Plotly, Graph as Go, TF, Alpaca, Crypto. And this is, we actually called it Alpaca. If you see here, we've been calling it Alpaca. So let's make sure we have everything correct and we click run and it's thinking and we can see it here. And this is much prettier than this. This is like one day info, right? That's what we chose. But you can do like one minute or one hour. So let's do limit, let's do 20. And we run it. <laughs> yeah, we don't want it to look like this. Let's just remove the limit or like, no, let's do 200. Let's see if that works. Yeah, it's not more than 200 days. We need to follow what's saying here is required, right? For any parameters that we want. So we need to start time. Let's do January 1st. This. And we need the time frame as well. You know what? I'm going to put 2021. Let's do that. It's going to be tiny probably. Yeah, look at this. It's so small because I put so many days. But if I were to do um, December, yeah, it's not going to be that bad. So you can see, you can put an end time. You know, if you want to see just December of 2021, you put start and then 
and that's it in time frame one day if you want per minute whatever you want to choose so this makes it much better to to visualize um, so you can analyze your data and see what you want to trade etc for the purpose of the video i used bitcoin but we can see all the the crypto coins that alpaca has so you can actually trade whatever you want if you want we can see actually let's change this to let's see so Ta-da! there's more than 20 coins for you to choose from so as you can see it's fairly easy um, you can actually just copy the stuff from the article and you can do it yourself and you can you know change the orders however you want it obviously you don't have to follow what the article says okay so i hope you guys found this fairly easy you have the article and you can just copy the code and paste it in your own notebook in your own google collab notebook and you'll have it right there obviously you can change you know the the stock of the crypto coin that you want to trade and you can you know look at the info and, and analyze it for yourself and everything so i hope you guys enjoyed it and please comment below what you guys want to watch and yeah just like the video thank you guys have a good day